Hello Lola's. Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share it with all your dolly friends and your non dolly friends as well. So today I just want to talk about just a I, you know, I want to talk about a few of my pet pet peeves. Um, just being in the community. I've been in this dog community, this particular dog community, for about seven years. I have actually collected dolls all my life, but collecting these type dolls, it's been around about seven years. Um, right now I have baby Lulu with me, and baby Lulu is the Ephraim Sculpt um, by Melanie Hess. She was painted by myself. Um, she is still bald. I'm going to get her dressed as well. She's been in this outfit for quite some time. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. as you can tell, I do have a cold. Is that the bottom of her feet? A little piggies. Um, I do have a cold. So forgive my little raspy voice. This, um, little girl is definitely a keeper for me. She will not go up for sale. Um, I just, I fell in love with this scope before it was done and I kept checking, like I was just like, oh my gosh, I kept saying, did, did the Ephraim scope come out? Did it come out? Did it come out yet? And I kept, you know, like stalking the sculptor page to see if I missed the pre-order or the sales of the kit. And I would ask my friends like, did you see it yet? Did it come out yet? And when it came out, I was like, boom, I grabbed two right away. And I want to paint it again, but I just haven't got back around to it. Um, I just need to stop spending on kits right now and just get the ones painted and sold that I have here. Um, because kits add up. But anyway, I know y'all did not um, come here to hear about my little um, talk about this. I am gonna put her, um, I'm gonna fix her little heels and then I'm gonna put her back in the the oven and bake her. Um, Cause I, anyway, that's a whole nother story, but I am gonna, um, cause I always, every time I look, I always look, every time I'm changing her, it's a distraction to me, so I'm going to get that done. Um, but yeah, so anyways, um, I've been wanting to change her body out and put her on a, a, a little bit narrower body, and I haven't been able to do that to take part. But anyway, you know, my pet peeves are, some of my pet peeves are, um, I've been watching, you know, YouTube for, like I said, many years. Of course, beyond the doll, doll world and stuff like that. And why am I taking this off when I didn't bring you another diaper? Okay, you're going to have to keep this on. Um, and my, my biggest pet peeve is when you see popular channels um, giving out false information or just, you know, saying anything for a click and a view or to make themselves sound like they know what they're talking about. That drives me insane. Um, especially sometimes when you know they know better and they're, they're t misguiding people. That drives me insane. I'd be like, oh my God, why are they doing that? Um, and mostly because I feel sorry for the people that actually believe them or take their word as gospel. And you know, just be misled. So that's, that's number one. Um, and then another one, another uh, pet peeve is a silly one. We all talk about this all the time in different groups is I hate to see preemies with shoulder length hair. I really do. I, 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 I'd be like, I mean, it's everybody's preference of how they do their babies or whatever, but it just be like, no, cut that hair. You ain't never seen no preemie with no ponytail. 
worth of hair when they're born. They barely have their pigment in, talking about hair. I mean, some have, I have seen some preemies be born with a head full of hair. I know that to be true, but I mean, come on. But that's just me because, you know, you're, I feel like we're trying to, you know, get, we're chasing realism and to me that takes away from the doll. But anyway, nevertheless, that's one of my silly pet peeves. I tried to make a no, uh, uh, um, I tried to make a, a list and remember the things, but I don't have to make a list because, listen, these things bother me enough to where I'd be like, okay, I'm not going to look at it. The other thing is people who claim, and I know you guys know about this one, people who claim that they don't know anything about drama. They'd be like, oh, I'm so lost. I don't know what's going on because I don't follow drama. But the only time you see them commenting is on a video that have a drama title or they have drama in it. And it's like, for you not to know what's going on, you show on everybody party, both both parties video saying the same thing. You show on every every drama out video. You won't see you ever and I and I've seen people that you won't see these people for years. And something big come on like drama come out all of a sudden boom there you go you see them coming i'm like what well, day where you been so i always be like um yeah you definitely far from not knowing what's going on that is like a big 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 um joke to me like i'd be like ah, oh, okay girl what and then, oh, and the other one, um, I have, and this is from my collector side, I hate when artists make these reborns and silicone babies and they tell you not to play with your dolls. Or they tell us that we should, that, you know, or kind of like make fun of the collectors for role playing or, you know, say make little comments like these are not real babies blah 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 and to me it makes me feel like you're you're like um shaming me just like the outside people when you start saying they're not real dogs guys come on you're not you shouldn't be dressing them you shouldn't be they you know they are collectible items it's like we know that already you already know collectors buy these babies to dress them up we shop like crazy so, yeah, you can say, like, you know, by all means, what I say is enjoy your babies. Please know that your interaction will determine how much wear and tear your baby will have. But, you know, definitely enjoy your baby. Like, you know, I don't want nobody to just have their babies like an elf on the shelf. Oh, I bought her earrings, new earrings, and I didn't bring them over here. Uh, I don't feel I can't go and get them. I'll have to get them later. But yeah, so I that drives me insane. And then oh my gosh, I'm so mad that I forgot her earrings. That just just crazy, crazy, crazy. My my brain. Y'all know I can't remember stuff. Oh yeah, and this one. Collectors, I, I forgot her socks too, but I don't know if she can fit these shoes because her feet is bigger than I think she wears a one instead of a zero. Um, co collectors who praise artists in public and then um, discredit them and talk smack about them in secret. I've seen this happen several times where artists or collectors be like, oh, I love my baby, blah, 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 blah. You know, this artist did a great job. And then, boom. In, in private, they're like, and you know, she does this and she does that. And I really don't like this. And I really don't like that. See, I was trying to see if you could see the color on her more. 
um because this is a like a mint green but i don't think it's showing up as much on here i think it's like washed out um hmm. let me see does that give us a little bit more yeah but yeah so i really really um i really really don't like that um i feel i feel like it's two things to that when when collectors um shame artists in pub in private not that they should be putting them on blast but i feel like if you genuinely don't like an artist's work then just don't say nothing at all just don't buy from them again or you know sell your baby or whatever if it's not your style of preference but to sit there and praise them in public and then talk about their work in private one you're misleading leading other collectors to believe that their work is enjoyable to you and then they go and buy it. and if it's something really major that you don't like then that's you know that's one thing two um you're, you're not to me that's not an honest person and it's very snake like when you talk about you know artists behind their back and then but yet you you smile in their face and make them feel like you like their work you're not helping them you know what I mean like that to me that's that's kind of messed up so I don't particularly like that um I think it's so many people out here that's new in the community or trying to become a part of the community trying to collect for the first time and they really look to a lot of us that's already collecting to where to go buy like their first dolls or um, where to get this and where to get that and I feel like um, it's very 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 sad when someone is misled and they end up losing money because you decided that you wanted to you know be funny and cute i don't know i don't know why what they get out of doing that um i mean i have literally seen people buy babies like in person and right after buying it be like this is crap and i'm like why would you buy this seeing it i can understand us online because we don't know but to buy it in person and then say right then that is crap, it doesn't make sense. So you have to, you know, the moral of this video is <laughs> you can't take everybody's word as gospel. And please understand that every single doll is an individual experience because each doll is painted hand by hand. And it may come out differently. So my experience might be great. Your experience may not. My, your experience might be great. My experience may not. One baby might be outstanding. Over the top. And the next baby may be just good. Or the next one might be mediocre. There's a lot of artists that are very consistent. That's been doing this for a long time. That does a really great job. And they hit it out the ballpark. Almost every single time. But I could guarantee you that every artist has had that one baby that they're like, crap, you know? So, um, don't be so quick to say she's lying. Don't be so quick to say she's telling the truth. You have to kind of do your research, kind of, I guess you kind of got to know your source. If this person has a habit of lying, then why believe them? If this person have proven to not be not so truthful, then why believe them? Um, if this person have done a lot of shady things, then I probably wouldn't believe them. But if you've seen them do honest business or you've seen this collector give honest reviews or whatever, then you could probably believe that whatever they're saying is their truth. You know what I mean? So... You know, do your own research. That's my thought process. You know, if you got five happy mommies and one disappointed mommy, then 
nine times out of ten, either that was a fluke or that person is just not completely happy. Because, see, people in this community don't know, like, um, the difference between a bad baby or a baby that's just not your style. So, for me... There's a lot of babies that I think are beautiful, a lot of artists that I think are very talented, but their work is just not my style. Um, there, there was this one artist I used to follow all the time. I thought she had so many skills, but it was funny. I did not necessarily like her palette, the colors that she used to paint with, but I thought she put the paints down like amazingly perfect. And it was very flawless and seamless. And I thought, dang, if she changed her color palette, she's going to be bad. You know, or she will almost get the color right and not quite. But, um, so yeah, so it's just, that doesn't make an artist a bad artist. That just makes them just not be your cup of tea. So, you know, that's the thing too. Like people be like, oh, can you recommend this person or recommend that person? It's hard to recommend somebody when you don't know what an individual like. Because some things that I love, some of my closest friends in the community absolutely hate. And I have friends in the community that collect dolls that I would never collect. Um, and they're not cheap dolls either. They're high-end dolls, but it's just I don't like the artist style. So... I mean, but we're good friends, and I love their babies, and they love my babies, but we just have different tastes. So, and that's okay, too. So, you know, I don't know. I just, I just feel bad for people that's new, and I don't know what to tell them anymore because there's so much going on. So, a lot of people ask me for recommendations, and I just can't give recommendations. Um... I just say go on eBay, Facebook groups, stuff like that, and look for dolls. See what you like, what pulls you, what draws your attention, and go from there. Yeah, I can't. I'm going to take her apart. I'm probably going to take her apart next weekend. I know I'm not going to be able to do it this week, but I'm going to take her apart next weekend. Change her body. I'm going to put her on a slimmer body. This is just too wide for me. The other um, baby that I did like this was on a slimmer body. I liked it better. I'm going to put her on a slimmer body and um, fix her little heels. And, yeah. And then she'll be good to go. Because she's not going anywhere. And I'm just, I don't know. And I guess at some point she'll get rooted. But right now she just, I just have it got her rooted yet maybe next year she'll get rooted right mama it's because I have to get into the rooter when I can and I usually try to get the ones that I'm selling first and so she just keep getting pushed back but she'll get her chance eventually and she's gonna be so cute with hair I can't wait all right talk to you guys later thanks for watching oh no, never mind. I was going to ask y'all, but never mind.